Hello and welcome back to my Project Castaway series. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a few tips and tricks to help survive on the islands and what to do and what not to do in order to make that survival uh, even easier for you. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is storage. Uh, as you can see, when you open your backpack, you have limited storage spaces in your backpack. So you are definitely going to want to consider what all you're carrying around and what you put into storage. Uh, this up here is a large storage container and as you can see it can actually hold 12 items in the one storage container. Now one thing to note about the storage containers is they cannot be placed inside of a structure. Uh, for some reason you cannot build the storage containers on the platforms. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, going to come in a future state. I really hope so, as I definitely like to try and keep my storage inside rather than just uh, laying around out on the beach. But uh, for now, you will want to consider your storage. And I would recommend building the large storage container because it can hold 12 items. And all it takes to build the large storage container is six logs. So that's two to three palm trees is all that will take to build the storage, which will allow you to carry a whole lot more stuff and store stuff so you don't have to carry it all around and you can only carry what you absolutely need that's definitely going to become more important as we start traveling to other islands now let's talk about the most important resource that i have found so far that you need to manage and that is your rope in order to cut down trees and other things you need an axe and in order to build an axe you need a rope so the Spinning wheel is definitely something you're going to want to build very early on in the game. It's very easy to build. And then you, while you're out and about in the woods, look for the yucca plant, which can be harvested with either an axe or it can actually be harvested with a small uh, stone knife, which will give you the yucca leaves which we have some right here, and you use each one of these yucca leaves will give you one rope. So in order to make sure that you can continue to progress and move on, at least in the beginning stages, is you will want to make sure that you harvest yucca whenever you can find it so that you can turn it into rope. Obviously, you're also going to want to maintain your water and your food levels. The coconut that you get from chopping down the palm trees gives you both food and water. And it actually gives you protein, which is great for keeping up your protein levels. And then you will want to look for the banana trees. There are also some other harvest harvestable items around such as the ginger plant and then at least on my island here up here by the cave entrance there are also some uh, potato plants which you will be able to harvest and then plant in planters so coconuts bananas you can actually survive without uh, harvesting a single animal, at least in the early stages of the game. If you do want to harvest an animal, uh, I would recommend going for the crabs. They are very plentiful 
around on the islands, and they uh, usually drop between one and two uh, crab legs, and then you also have the crab body. I also recommend when you build your campfire, and you're gonna wanna build a campfire, not just a regular fire, uh, I recommend building it under a lean-to because then if it's if it rains, which it tends to do quite frequently on the island, it protects it from the rain so you can actually uh, start the fire while it's raining outside. If you try to start the fire and it's not under a shelter, it will immediately go out. So definitely build your... Uh, campfire underneath a lean-to to protect it. The next thing that you will want to build is a rain collector, which is quite easy to build. Uh, the hardest thing for me was actually uh, kill, finding and killing a turtle. They are very uh, tough animals, which as you would expect, but this allows you to, as it rains, your uh, water collector actually just continually collects water and all you have to do is come up to it and you can drink it and it will immediately go into your water. One other thing to note is you can only carry three items at a time, that, uh, three tools I should say, at a time so you'll want to make sure that you manage what tools you are carrying. Uh, currently, as you can see, I have a wooden spear. I have the stone hammer. And I have the stone axe. Uh, let's actually go inside and I will drop my stone hammer. Because the stone hammer is used for building. And uh, actually just added in the release 0.0.32. I was reading the patch notes and you cannot, you now can use the stone hammer to destroy a item and you will get, I believe it's 50% of the materials back for from the uh, item. So let's go ahead and drop our stone hammer down onto the ground. You can see I have a stone pickaxe here and then out on the beach here, I actually have my stone knife, which I'm going to pick up. So as, as a quick recap, uh, rope is very important. So make sure you're always on the lookout for yucca. Uh, food and water obviously are extremely important as they are in any survival game. Uh, the most uh, prolific way to get food and water is by chopping down uh, palm trees and eating coconut or harvesting the many crabs around. And always make sure that you are building your campfires underneath the lean-to. That way it will protect it from the elements and you can warm up when you get wet or cook your food that you need to cook at any time of day, no matter what the weather is. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tips and tricks video. Um, just thought I would uh, throw this out here, uh, early stages, just to get you on your way. Uh, I will be making some more uh, advanced tips and tricks as I progress further into the game but for now this will definitely help you get started in the game and I look forward to seeing you on the next one